This will cover all the prerequisites for flow control like UDS, DCM, Autosar Dash Tag, etc. Let us now understand flow control in detail. Flow control is a mechanism of communicating huge chunks of data between ECU and tester by means of either a single frame or multiple frames. This mechanism is described in ISO 15765 protocol and handled in CAN TP module in Autosar architecture. There are four types of frames in flow control. They are single frame, first frame, consecutive frame and flow control frame. So if you understand how CANTP segments NSDU and what NPCI is added to which type of frame, then we have understood flow control. We shall understand each of these frames in detail in coming videos. But first, let us understand the sequence of flow control communication between tester and ECU. Case 1. The size of NSDU is less than data limit per frame of underlying communication protocol. Since we are using CAN, the data to be transmitted is less than 8 bytes. In such cases, we use a single frame. The transmitter sends the entire data in a single frame to the receiver. Case 2 The size of NSDU is greater than the data limit. In this case, we use multi-frame communication. The NSDU is divided into multiple chunks with each piece after applying NPCI and forming NPDU can fit in one frame of underlying communication protocol and transmitted one by one until complete data is transmitted successfully. The transmitter sends the first piece as a first frame to the receiver. Then the receiver responds with a flow control frame to the transmitter and then transmitter sends series of consecutive frames one after the other in the correct order. Each consecutive frame carries one piece of NSDU respectively. 